Okay guys, today we're gonna replace the parts in the third gen Camaro. We got the distributor cap and rotor, part numbers are there. We got the ignition coil, or ignition module, high performance ignition module. Fuck it out. So, um, this should be it, guys. Let's, let's go take a look at the car. Car right there. I removed the cover already, guys. We're gonna pop the coil out. Um, remove the distributor, guys. If you don't know the direction of the wiring, guys, you can make you some marks or mark it on the cap when you remove it. There's a uh, some Phillips. Long fills and move the cap. And um, super simple, easy removal, guys. Let's take the cap off, move the coil out of our way, and pop this cap off real quick. And I got a brand new uh, map sensor as well, and that'll be like one of the last things I'll change too if I need to. But hopefully, this should get it, guys. Let's remove uh, all these components right now, and I'll get everything swapped out over, guys. So, if you don't know the spark plug um, numbering, if you don't know which direction they go to, guys, uh, I'll show a picture of it right now. All right, guys, I'm using a 732nd to, or you can use a Phillips screwdriver, guys, or I'll use the 732nd uh, socket to take the camera off. Don't look bad. Yeah, so I can use the same 37, 30 second guys on the ignition module. Take that boy up right now. Gotta unplug it first. So let me unplug it guys. I wanna note. Um, make sure you take the plugs out uh, before you uh, remove the ignition module. All right guys, now that we got it off, be careful, don't lose the screws, or have your magnet on standby. I'm gonna take it and arm. Um, so we're gonna go back in the same way, we're gonna unwrap it from the flathead screwdriver, remove that plug, and clean it. I'm gonna clean the surface off, guys, with some cleaner, some precision cleaner. I'll show you guys before we install it. But let's uh, get this off. Then we're going to pop this cap, this road off. Got the screwdriver in there, guys. I'm going to pry it back. And these terminals. All that rust and corrosion. So you can't, the plug only goes in one way, so you can't get the plug mixed up and going back in. So uh, let's get the precision clean. Let's pop that cap off. Let's pop that rotor off, guys. Okay, guys, this rotor is seized on here. It's not uncommon. Maybe a factory one, guys. If you can look under there, you see so much rust around. I'm going to try to use some WD-40 to... See if I can get some WD-40 just to kind of um, skirt underneath the, try to position it to make the straw bend and go upward. Got this extra long flat bay thick screwdriver. Try to pry it up, guys. Twisting it. I'm rotating the screwdriver, guys, so you guys can see um, exactly what I'm doing. Okay, guys, I'm going to pop this cap off. 
there's a notch in that guy, so it only can go on one way. Let me focus inside of here. But there's a notch in there. And that seats in that notch. So it's only gonna go on that one way. So I got some precision cleaning. This stuff is amazing. And we gonna clean all this up real good. All right, we got that clean, guys. Cleaned up. So now let's install the ignition module first and then the rotor. Okay, guys. As you can see, this is the new part. And this is the old part. However, even though this is a new part, look at the terminals on this guy. This is just an awful connection. Look at that. I don't see how it was getting, you know, this may have been our problem too, guys. Bad contacts. So although this is new, guys, these become oxidized over just sitting up. And we're going to use... Uh, some light sandpaper or emery cloth to shine these up. Big difference, guys. So now that that's all shiny, let's install it. Look at that, man. Let's reinstall this now, guys. And um, stop assembling everything back. All right, we got that back installed. So we're just gonna kindly wrap it right back around here, guys. Mount it in place. So let's install our screws, guys. Plug both plugs up, and then we're gonna pop the rotor on, and then the cap back on, the new cap. All right, guys, that's done. Let's install the rotor. Remember, it has that groove in it, so you can't screw it up. I mean, I could put some oil on that shaft. It's a tight fit. Huh? Huh? See it pop in place, guys. All right. Look where I got to see that, guys. Got to see it all the way down on there. Make note of that. All right, guys. We're going to just... We got the cap, the distributor cap tightened down perfectly. Let's wire this thing back up, and then let's put the ignition coil on and start it up. All right, guys, we wire back up. Let's uh, get the ignition cord installed. So we're going to set the ignition cord here for right now. When I bought this car, guys, we nothing mounted. So we're going to set it right here for right now. Before I mount everything up, just want to test it out. To remove this brace, guys, or this bracket, you want to have to grind these rivets off and replace it on here. Right now, we're just testing. I'll, even, I'll do it in a second. I'll grind these off shortly. Just want to make sure everything's okay. And um, take this brace off and install it on here. So we're just testing right now, but um, this may be an, this got to be the original factory part. So let's uh, get this on just for a test, guys. We're going to test it out. Before I, now you have to buy some screws as well. I've done this many, many times. Some screws to mount this back on. And she's going to rivet it back together. So. Let's get this installed and um, start start it up and see what we got. Got the black on the right side of the, to your right. On the black to the right, gray to the left. So, let's start this thing up and see what we got, guys. Start it up. All right, I connected the battery back, guys. Let's get a cold start. Let's see what we got.
gonna go for a test drive, guys. Alright, guys. So far, so good. Um, uh, definitely running a whole lot better. Get some gas. I don't know if it's perfect, but it's running a whole lot better. I'm not sure if it's perfect yet. I'm low on gas, so I'm gonna take it easy. I got that, that exhaust leak, so I gotta get that exhaust fixed. But um, so far, so good. I hope that solves the problem finally. We're gonna get some gas before we kinda mess with it. I don't wanna take it easy on it. But um, I can imagine when I get the exhaust fix, I think it'll be it'll be all the way there at the end. All right, guys, we're, we're riding. I'm not sure what's going on with this thing. It. Um, Just riding perfect. Running pretty good, but not perfect. And I'll tell you what I just found out. It started misfiring really bad. And I'm like, I just changed all of this, these components. I knew it can be um, none of that. Everything was installed correctly. And I looked under here and I kept moving this wire and it's broken right there. Whenever I touch this, it runs perfect. And, um, and the plug is, you know, the housing is broken. This is like this when I bought the car. So I have to place this whole plug because it's not sticking out on that injector perfectly. It keeps popping up and keeps running like crap. It's split right there. 
So, um, like I said, it was like this and I got it, it had some tape over it. And um, I just, that I found that out. Cause I was just looking around, I didn't see anything guys. And I just noticed that wire split. When I touched it, the car ran perfect. So I gotta find a plug and we run it. And um, I think we're good. Man. I'm going to the exhaust shop.